Something I saw hotly debated in the fandom in the last few months leading up to the season 2 premiere of Hell of a Boss was about whether or not Stella or Stolas was the bad guy in their relationship, and oh boy do I have some feelings about this. My name's Deep Cut, let's talk about who did who wrong, but if you want to see even more Has Been Hotel and Hell of a Boss content, I already have two videos up on our Early Access Members section. For $4.99, you get early access to all of the videos that we can put up there early for you, including our videos up right now about how death really works in Has Been Hotel and Hell of a Boss, as well as the history of Satan. And stay tuned until the end of the video for a trailer for Cartoon Universe the Movie, Deep Cuts Day Off. Now until this episode, some people were actually siding somewhat with Stella in this little divorce in hell, and while I don't agree with them, I did understand their points. Until now, the story we knew was that Stolas had slept with Blitz, who was just trying to steal the grimoire, but slipped right onto the table of Stella and her two friends before revealing that he slept with Stolas. This is a pretty sad situation, but the reaction from Stella was not just to leave and take Octavia with her, but to hire an assassin to try and kill Stolas, who we know is going to come back, as well as who knows what other assassins may pop up trying to do the job. Stella herself was already Goetia royalty, being the sister of Adriel Fiss, who is of lower rank than Stolas, but likely would enjoy being promoted to Stolas' position if he were to meet an untimely demise. This would give Adriel Fiss an extra interest in helping his sister get revenge on Stolas. It's crazy how much more aggressive Stolas was in this flashback than we saw in the pilot, reveling in the upset of Stella and using it as a way to initiate a divorce. One year later, he is ready to finally go through with that divorce, despite the consequences it may have for him in the Ars Goetia. From the very beginning, Stolas knew he did not like Stellas, and we could see from the photo that Pyman presented that she was a terror. It was the best photo they could get of her, and she was bound to be even more rabid in real life, and Stolas outright cried out the thought of it. From the day they met to this very episode, I doubt there was a single day where Stella didn't throw some sort of insult at Stolas, something Stolas more or less confirms in their argument. At the end of the episode, we see Stella go into backslap Stolas, and she is so casual about it, I imagine she has done this many times before, but this seems to be the first time Stolas ever stopped her. When Stolas is a child, we see Paimon isn't afraid to whack him around when he sees that Stolas is doing something unroyal and not living up to his standard of the Ars Goetia. As such, Stolas has taught himself not just that he deserves to be hit for reasons like this, but that it is an act of love not much different from what he would get from his father, despite the fact that he would never do this thing to his own child, Octavia. The point is that Stella probably has hit Stolas hundreds of times, if not thousands of times before, and I doubt her throwing an imp at him in episode 2 was the first time she ever did anything violent. Heck, that first photo of her is basically her just strangling stuffed toys to death. In addition to this, the insults that Stella gives are of the most insane cruelty, long before Stolas even came close to cheating on Stella. Because of this, a lot of people want to say Stolas was not in the wrong here, and that Stella is, and while that may or may not be true, I think the bigger thing is that it was never a battle that we were meant to take sides in. Future episodes could expand on Stella's life and make her a bit more sympathetic, and I imagine they will do this with the introduction of her brother Adrielfis. but for now, what we are supposed to know is what Stolas has been through, as it isn't a battle against him and Stella, but a battle against him and the man he was attempting to be because of the royalty he was born into. Stella is just one of the many pieces to the puzzle here that has made Stolas' life miserable and will continue to do so as the plot unravels. Stella herself may be trapped in the same system that gave Stolas his toxic traits, but it doesn't even the playing field, per se. As Stolas has made clear, Stella was not actually hurt by him sleeping with an imp. She was definitely embarrassed, and the two can be the same thing, but that doesn't make it the case here, where Stella has always been waging war against Stolas, and him sleeping with Blitz was just one more piece of ammunition. Maybe Stolas shouldn't have slept with Blitz, but maybes and shouldn't haves are just acknowledgements of the basic idea that rules exist, not that they are valid in every scenario. Stolas gave himself a very human moment of weakness and let himself believe that there was one person out there who really wanted him, someone he had a special relationship with. Yes, he had Octavia, but that was just a person he had to take care of, someone who was tying him to all the stressful things like Stella out of obligation. 
Stolas' bigger issue is really that he began to see Blitz for what he really was early on, but chose to ignore it. Even as he is being seduced by Blitz, he seems to know that Blitz is robbing the place, the same way he looks back at his childhood and knows that Blitz was stealing from him in their little game of pirates. I doubt that went unnoticed. Stolas cheating on Stella isn't a good look, but it wasn't something that Stella should have had him assassinated over, and who Stolas really ended up hurting overall was Blitz. We now know that Osmodian crystals are an easy way for lower demons like Succubus to go up to the human realm, and with that in mind, Stolas always had an easy way to let Blitz go up to Earth without using his personal grimoire, which he needed for other rituals. It was because of those other rituals that he knew Blitz would have to return it to him regularly if he he wanted continued access to the human realm, whereas if he had given Blitz an Asmodian crystal, he could have kept avoiding Stolas and never held up his end of their carnal arrangement. And that arrangement itself is a lot to unpack, so while Stolas may not really be in the wrong with Stella, it isn't about him being right or wrong with her, and instead how he is doing wrong by Blitz. Not that Blitz is exactly innocent all of this, because as I said, this is a very complex situation and there is a lot to unpack here. But that is something we'll discuss later this week in my other video, Are Blitz and Stolas Breaking Up? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and now, as discussed before, here's the trailer for Cartoon Universe the Movie, Deep Cut's Day Off. Fine, since it's your birthday, you can have one day off. I'm scared, director of 2016's Deadpool Tim Miller. What if I change? To deep cut? To shallow? To shallow cut? <laughs> Okay, but you two have literally the same plot. Face it, kid. Your Impsona's never gonna make it into the show. I can't think of a third joke! My name is Shallow Cut. I will be running the rest of this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This was something I started putting together as a 500,000 subscriber special a few months back, and it's amazing to finally have it done. If you want to support us and maybe even see more videos like this, consider signing up for our Patreon or YouTube memberships to get early access to our content. You can click that join button right next to the subscribe button, or use the links in the description down below. And while you're down there, click that Discord link to come hang out in my Hasbin Lore Discord server. See you guys next time.